Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make this hot looking splatter effect. The size of this image is 2600 by 1600 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Open a photo of someone or something you'd like to use for this effect. The first step is to make a selection around your subject in order to cut it out from its background. For this image, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. I'll drag it over the figure to select it. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac as you drag your cursor inside those areas. Continue until the entire figure is selected. Press Ctrl or Command J twice to cut the selection of your subject from its background and copy it twice. Name the top layer Original and the layer below it Liquify. Click off the eyeballs of the two layers to hide them and click on your original photo to make it active. Make a copy of it and Control click or Command click on one of your subject layers to call back its selection. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. I'll expand it by 20 pixels. Depending on the size and resolution of your image, you may want to adjust this number. Go to Edit and Fill. We'll fill it with Content Aware. The mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Content Aware does a really good job filling in the selection with its surrounding. Press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. If you have areas like this one where you'd like to fill in better, open your lasso tool and draw a selection around it. Then go back to Edit, Fill, and Content Aware. To remove the selection, press Ctrl or Command D. We'll give this background a bit of energy emanating from its center by going to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. The amount is 20%, the method is zoom, and the quality is best. Make the liquify layer visible and active. Go to Filter and Liquify. The liquify window will open. Choose Forward Warp Tool. To increase or decrease its size, press the right or left bracket keys. Drag the outer sections of your subject out. These areas will ultimately be revealed as spatters through a layer mask. When you're done, click OK. Click on the layer mask button to make a layer mask next to the liquefied subject. Invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command I. Make the original figure visible and active and make a layer mask next to it. Invert the foreground and background colors by clicking on this curved double arrow or by pressing X on your keyboard. Open your brush tool, click on the arrow next to the brush size, and click on the gear icon to open your list of brush presets. I'm choosing a preset I named Splatter 2. You can download it from the link I provided located in the video's description or project files. If you're not sure how to install brushes, watch my tutorial on how to do this. I provided that link as well. Click OK to see just this set in the thumbnail window. Open the gear icon again, and this time choose Large Thumbnail. To see them all at once, expand down the window. Notice all the sizes are huge. Once you choose a brush, to decrease its size, press the left bracket key on your keyboard a few times. Click down a couple of times to reveal the background through the layer mask. Press F5 to open your brush tip shape window if you want to adjust the brush angle and roundness. Continue to reveal more of the background using various splatter brushes. When you're happy with the results, click on the layer mask of the liquefied subject and invert the colors so white is your foreground color. Click outside your subject to reveal the liquefied layer.
make a copy of the liquefied layer and click on the original thumbnail of the liquefy layer to make it active. Go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. Keep the same parameters as you used for the backgrounds and click OK. This gives the splatter some radial energy. If you want to replace some of the colors of the splatter with new colors, click on the liquefy copy and the foreground color. I'd like to use this bright color so I'll click down on it and click on various areas of the splatter to replace their colors with a new color. To remove some splatters from areas and reveal more of the figure, click on the layer mask at the top to make it active, make your foreground color white, and click on those areas where you'd like to remove the splatters. Using these techniques, have fun transforming a musician, athlete, or anyone else burst with energy. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.